Okay, so um, to make this as simple as possible, uh, yes, you can still jump scout, and no, it's not harder than before. Okay, so I made this with paint. Uh, it's pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully, you understand what's what's yeah what's this all about. Okay, so this is the old scout, and this is the new one. So the difference is that you don't have a lot of time anymore in the air. Uh, you have to shoot as soon as possible, pretty much. The reason why people think it's harder than before is because they're used to the old window. This window. Uh, I used to shoot at this window as well. I think everybody did. Now we have to change to this window. And to adjust to the new window, it, it actually takes time because muscle memory doesn't just change overnight. It takes practice. It takes time. But I'm sure some people actually shot at this window with the old scout. So with the new scout, they don't feel any difference. So that doesn't mean it's harder. It just means that they were lucky enough to shoot early in the old scout. Like they were used to it. So the easiest way to learn how to jump scout after the nerf is simply go against bots and practice. That's all really. Uh, one trick I use to make it a little bit easier finding the accuracy window is to look at the crosshair blur. So instead of trying to react to the scope being accurate, uh, it's a lot better to react to the blur just before it becomes unblurred. Uh, this is because when the brain sends a signal to your hand, there is a slight delay. So this might actually help you find the timing, but at the end of the day, you have to do this without even looking at the scope. That's, that's what we're supposed to do. Once you feel like you got the timing down, you should move on to real practice, which is flicking. Because in an actual game, obviously people don't stand still like bots. They obviously move around a lot and stuff, so flicking is the only way you'll actually jump scout someone. I did one damage on him. Uh, so a lot of people kind of ask me, um, what I think about the scout and what I think about the nerf and all that stuff. Uh, truth to be told, to be honest, I actually don't think jump scouting belongs into the game. Because CSGO in general is kind of slow, just having jump scout and running really fast with the scout doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, why did you nerf the op so much but you barely nerfed the, the scout? And then we have jump scout. Um, if you look at my older videos, you kind of notice that most of the time I get my kills without jumping. It's just... When I jump, it's kind of just to add style, you know? Uh, it's not necessarily something I have to do. It's cool, it looks cool, it's fun doing it, but in the end, it doesn't really matter, you know? You could probably get the same kills without jumping. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts, you know? Uh, I didn't really, like, stop playing CS regularly because of jump scouting or the scout nerf, whatever. It's just that I don't really have fun in CS in general. It has nothing to do with the scout. It's just the game itself is not fun. I have more fun in Overwatch, even though I get pissed off at playing Overwatch, but I still have more fun in that game. Why do okay. you want to play Winston? Winston don't want to work. We are Could bad. you can jump on them and disrupt your fucking dumb? Yeah, I don't know how to play Winston. I'm Why done I trying to, to fucking Winston explain to you. Don't okay. want to Here, play you Winston. go Reinhardt then. Do you want to play Reinhardt and I'll play Winston or what? Yeah. 